Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is our last adventure in 2019-20 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Basketball Full Case Pick Your or Full Case Random Team Number Four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, this is the only case we have left for the time being. So our last chance for Zion. We pulled a lot of nice stuff. One of ones included all sorts of things. No Zion yet. All right. So big thanks to all the people who got their team straight up and for getting to those 8x10 breaks to, uh, to try to win spots here. Now, the 8x10s kind of ate into the uh, early bird promo, but that's okay because the odds are now better. So only the people that purchase their spots straight up are eligible for the early bird promo. So let's see who's going to be the early bird. Let's see who catches the worm after four times. One and a three. One, two, three, and four. There you go. Daniel with a bonus spot. There you go, Dan. You are the early bird. You have caught the worm. All right, now we can gather everybody here, put them into this list here. And remember, we kind of combo the team, we combo the entire league. So that way, you know, for an expensive product like this, that way you don't end up with two quote unquote, not so good teams, right? So we obviously paired up the Pelicans, a big team with a smaller team like the Raptors, so on and so forth. So I think that balances it out a lot more nicely. All right, let's roll it and randomize it eight times for each list, six into two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, boom box, last bot mojo star, down to Danny who got who won his spot in the 8x10 number 99. We've got a team list right here, perfect. Let's get those named there. Six and two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Bulls, Sixers, down to Pelicans, Raptors on the bottom. Pelicans are going to be the big team this year, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Boombox, you have the Bulls-Sixers combo. Daniel with the Knicks-Bucks. Cody with the spot that you won, Grizzlies-Rockets. Joe with the Hornets-Spurs. Daniel with your early bird spot, Heat Magic. Daniel with a spot that you won, T-Wolves-Pistons. Sean, Celtics-Mavs. Jeremy33, Pacers-Nets. Daniel, Wizards-Jazz. Joe Kroll with the spots that you won, Cavs-Thunder, Hawks-Kings. Justin, you also want a spot. Nuggets, Blazers. Boombox won a spot. Suns and my Lakers. Travis with the Warriors, Clippers. And Danny with the Pelicans, Raptors. All right, let's sort by column B. Now, if you want to trade, you'll have to trade the... You can't, tra you can't split the Bulls and Sixers, for example, if you want to make the trade. You have to trade that block of teams for another block of teams. So we'll give everyone a couple minutes, uh, a couple moments not a couple minutes, a couple moments to think about a trade if they want to. Um, we're going to go strictly by this group rate checklist, which I'll drop again into the chat if you want to take a look at what potential you can get because they're all still in their collegiate uniforms. And uh, let's keep the NBA draft up here so you may be surprised at where a particular player was drafted and how well those do. Basketball, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and, and I'll say this every time we do a break because our basketball audience is not as, not as big. It's growing, but it's not as big as our baseball and football audiences, right? A um, lot of value, a lot of secondary market value in basketball, even for guys not named Zion. Not named Zion Williams, but still a lot of incredible value in this hoop stuff. So as you start seeing more 2019-20 uh, hoops showing up, on, or any kind of hoops showing up on jazbeescasebreaks.com, give it a shot. Study the checklist, do a little bit of research on secondary markets, and then, and then give it a shot, if, especially if you're new to collecting hoops. For those of you who are collecting hoops already, you already know how, uh, how valuable all this stuff can be. Any trades? No? Print and rip? Yeah, it's long break, so let's get a move on. We'll do a quick autograph recap at the end of this video as well, if I don't forget. Most likely I will. I usually do. Since this is a long break, generally I like to keep the topic of the box that we're opening, you know, keep what our chatter related to the break, right? 
But since it's such a long break, yeah, we can we can kind of go off topic and go into other sports and whatnot. I, I'll allow it. All right, so there's the final list on a Friday. Thanks for spending your uh, your your Friday with us, folks. You guys could be doing anything in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you spending a little bit of of your weekend, beginning of your weekend with me. All right, there it is. Our last case for now. I don't think we're going to be getting any more. I think there'll just be so many basketball releases coming up that are so that are going to be, frankly, to be honest with you, pricier than what we remember from previous years. So we may have to be a little more nimble with our product selection. So yeah, Kelly, I was going to answer your question. Um, once we've gone through all the basketball stuff, my thoughts about AB. We were talking about this a little bit at the top of the show. Gilo, what's going on? Sorry, I missed Gabe saying hi. Um, his eye on his life says Luke Jackson. We haven't pulled him yet. Antonio Brown, I think it's easy for, for him, for people to be like, oh, he's crazy. I don't think he's crazy. I think he reminds me a lot of like a child star who got famous and rich way too fast. You don't know how to handle the money. You're surrounded by people that are, you're surrounded by people that are saying, hey, you're the greatest, you're the best, you've got millions, you know, you're famous, you're an influencer, you're this and that, you can do whatever you want, man. So you get all that in your ear and you're in that, then you start acting reckless. Then you feel like you can treat women however you want to. You start feeling like, oh, I can text whatever I want to. You know, I think like, uh, you think you're above the law. You think, you know, nothing can, you're invincible. You're so talented, everyone, anyone will hire you, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I think he's learning the hard way really fast. We're seeing like a child star, you know, reaching adulthood and melting down and not being able to handle it. I think that's what it is. Uh, people who thought he made some sort of Machiavellian move to get to the Patriots, I don't think that's true either. It's just, he's just shooting himself in the foot. Six autos a box, folks. Here we go. First autograph is Tremont Waters. But I think that's what happens to people who win like the lottery, right? You know? Yeah, sometimes you just lose, you just lose perspective. You win the lottery, you lose perspective because you you have all this money. I mean, yeah, there, he, he's just kind of an idiot too. That that also doesn't help. But when you're an idiot with money, <laughs> uh, Tremont Waters is a Boston Celtic, so that's going to go to Sean K. Gilo thinks. Well, you think uh, A B S E T. Yeah, well, you handle yourself pretty well in your career until you start becoming one of the most talented wide receivers in football, and then, you know, you feel like you don't have to prove yourself anymore because you're, like, the best. And you combine that with money and popularity and increased social media exposure. You know, there's the Marcus Aldridge for the Spurs. We'll top load those before they go out just in the interest of time. We're going to blow through this. You know, so... Early in his career, Antonio Brown wasn't really anybody. A good player, you know, but not as influential in social media, not as influential, not, you know, big marketing contracts and whatnot. Zylon Chetham goes to the Pelicans, and that will be f the first one for Danny Connell. He's looking for maybe Zylon's first uh, future teammate. We've got Terrence Davis. Gilo saying, wait, listen, all he wanted money. He wanted money. He got into Oakland. All he had to do was show up. I know. Seems easy, right? It seems easy. Not when... I mean, people screw up their lives and jobs all the time. It's like, hey, you were a, a, a lawyer. You were a doctor. You know, you were making all this money. You had it easy. All you have to do is show up. Why'd you screw it up? Toronto Raptors for Terrence Davis. I just can't. Sometimes people are just, they're just destined to shoot themselves in the foot all the time. We all have that friend, right? We all have that friend. Like, all you had to do, man, was do this and you would have had this. You know, your unemployed friend, your, your, your friend that always screws up relationships or whatever. It's like, what are you doing? All you had to do was 
You really effed up a good thing, man. You know? Happens all the time. We, we just seem to have, we're now, we're seeing it happen, except for your lives, you were not in the public eye. <laughs> for you and me, we're not in the public eye. That's a clipper right there. So since we're not in the public eye, it's not, a, not as big of a deal. But it happens all the time. It's just, we're just seeing it play out in real time with Antonio Brown. Got Brandon Clark, college ticket autograph. Yeah, and it's just another sad tale of of uh, Mike Mike Tower saying it's another sad case of uh, that's a grizzly by the way that'll be for Cody. Another sad case of wasted talent. I mean, I think Antonio Brown, as shocking as it might be, he may be done for football for a couple of years. If you told me at the beginning of the season that both Antonio Brown and, and Andrew Luck will be out of football, I would have been like, that's crazy talk. There's Bruno Fernando. There it is. And I don't think, you know, especially with all the allegations against Antonio Brown, this is a hawk, by the way, Bruno Fernando. ATL, that's for Joe Kroll. And all the legal issues that he's going to have to face, I'm not sure if we're going to see Antonio Brown in back in, whether it's true or not, I don't think we're going to see him back in football in game soon. I mean, no one's, no one's picking, up, picking him up this season, right? I can't imagine after... Burning bridges with Pittsburgh earlier this year, burning bridges with Oakland earlier this year, and getting released by the Patriots, the one organization that, that could have handled Antonio Brown. And not being able to make it there, what team is going to take a chance at it? No team's that desperate, right? Who needs a receiver like Antonio Brown that bad? Right, Kelly says, yeah, I agree. At least until the investigation cleared up, he's not going to play. Well, he's not, definitely not playing this season. I don't think any, A, I don't think anything will, anyone will pick him up. B, I think by then the NFL, after running their investigation, will, you know, will put him on the exempt list for the rest of the year. Mike Tower is saying he should have been in the jersey break with Vic and Winston. I think that's a disservice to Michael Vic and Jameis Winston. Kai Bowman. Is a Golden State Warrior. What's up, Thomas? What's going on? There's Luka Samanich. Yeah, the allegations, Gila saying allegations against him seem so far-fetched. Probably because of the timing of it, but I wonder if the Patriots saw something. That they must have. I mean, listen. I think a lot of us have hopefully not been accused of anything like that, right? And I know it's innocent until proven guilty, but when you're an employer, you're, if you're the New England Patriots... You know, and you're saying this this conduct is de conduct is detrimental to to our team, and not a reflect reflection of our brand and what it stands for. At will, employer, you can get fired. That's a spur, Lucas Samanich, and that'll be for Joseph L. Word.
There's Alan Smilagic. He goes to the Warriors as well. Save one of those Zion cards as well. I think even those do still do well on a secondary market. Still might get five, ten bucks a pop for it. There's Justin Wright Foreman. Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, this is kind of what what we're all about. We like popping open cases. We're about the hobby. We're pretty passionate about this. Kind of have a little. Kind of a more laid-back, long-form podcast, sports talk, radio type vibe to it. This guy's a jazz, by the way. That'll be for Daniel. So yeah, that's the vibe of our show, Thomas. Yeah, I wonder if... Uh, if Mike Tower speculating that, hey, was there something to do with the Patriots owner's allegation to this? Yeah, I don't know. Look at, look at Belichick's face in the press conference earlier today. I think he was just like, I don't want to do this all season long. <laughs> right, Sinister is right too. Patriots don't want their team name scrolling on the bottom of Fox and CNN and all that when he's getting perp walked, when, when he's arrested. They already dealt with that with... Uh, Aaron Hernandez, you know what I mean? They don't want to deal with that kind of stuff again. There's Larry Bird to twenty uh, to ninety nine, that is twenty one out of ninety nine, and Amir Coffee. Amir is a Clipper. It's on the Clip Show. That will be for. Got the Clippers in this one. Travis Melberg, who won that spot. And there's Luke May. Luke May is a Milwaukee Buck. That'll be for Daniel, who got, uh, got randomized the Knicks Bucks. All right, there are your next six autographs. Here's the next one right here. And we will do a quick uh, autograph recap at the end of this video, too. Don is here. Don, what's going on? He wants to know if anybody wants to do that hockey. I do. <laughs> I saw a couple teams move earlier today. I saw some orders. That's a good question, Mike Tower. Circling back to this hoops right here. Which teams have the best chance of matching or beating the Pelicans in value by the end of the year? Pretty much. I think any of the top five teams or the top five picks will probably be a good idea. You know? Zion is obviously going to be pretty. But I think there's John, people like John Morant on the Grizzlies. RJ Barrett on the Knicks. He's on a big market team. And he's going to have a lot of opportunities to play. You know, he's going to get a lot of minutes, so we'll see him often, and he'll have chances to, to succeed. Darius Garland next to Colin Sexton in, in, in the, with the Cavs. That could be good. Kobe White on the Bulls is going to get chances to succeed. The Japanese kid, Rui Hachimura on the Wizards, he was number nine overall pick. Cam Reddish next to Trey Young on the Hawks. That'll be pretty fun. P.J. Washington on the Hornets. No Kemba there, so that he has a chance to succeed. You know, so like pretty much take the top 10. And you might face some, find some value there. Basically, anybody in the first round, you're gonna, you can probably extract some value, especially if they do well. Remember, it's just supply and demand. And um, think about basketball rosters. There's only like, what, 15, 
people on a basketball roster, maybe seven players in a regular rotation, right? Seven, eight players in a regular rotation. So we all saw Lynn Sanity, you know, like a, a month of good basketball from some rando could all of a sudden boost their value exponentially. Uh, Jonte Porter, Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, not on a team according to groupratechecklist.com. So we're going to set that aside and that's going to be um, randomized to someone in the break. If we pull another uh, not a team that doesn't have a pro team associated with it, this will go first. Then the second one will be for the second name, third name for the third name, so on and so forth. Kelly thinks John ja Morant will win rookie, rookie of the Year. That would be good for the hobby. You know, Zion is, there's enough Zion hype where he's, his value is going to be fine. But um, but we need the other peop other players to get a little bit of help. All right. Oh, nice. Speaking of Rui Hachimura, there he is. Twelve out of twenty-three. People people were asking, "Hey, why are the Wizards so expensive?" They were looking at the Wizards. Probably, who the hell do they got? They got nobody, right? We're like, no. How about this guy? Hachimura, Japanese born, Japanese international player um, for the Washington Wizards. And the that'll go to Daniel F. And think about it. All he needs to do, I mean, he's already got like a big international market behind him. You know, not too many M uh, Asian NBA players. So that's already gonna do, that's already gonna pick up in value because you get the international market as well. And that's the, that's the other thing too, folks. Basketball, more so than American football, even baseball, is such a global sport. Yeah, not cracked ice. And Kevin Porter Jr., no relation to that fam the other Porter family. On-card autograph. Kevin Porter Jr., is a calf. And that will be for Joe Kroll and the Cavs. So whenever you're, if you're not, especially if you're not familiar with collecting hoops, um, if you do sell, resell hoops on a secondary market, be sure to open it up to international shipping. It's worth going through the extra work for the international shipping. There's LeBron James from my Lakers. 75. Hoping for, for big things this year for my Lakers. And, wow, nice. What a box. Cracked Ice Trey Young Turning Pro Autograph. Five out of 23. Ice Trey for Atlanta. The Hawks' Joe Kroll, who won that spot in an 8x10. Boy, he turned out to be... A lot better than I thought. Everyone thought that kid, this kid was just going to jack up threes, you know, and then just be kind of a – but he turned out to be an unselfish player, played defense, distributed the ball, and scores buckets. So now he's got some help on that Hawks team. There's Isaiah Roby. That's a Dallas Maverick. That'll be for Sean with the Celtics Mavs combo. So, because that that was the worry, right, Kelly? Everyone's just like, oh, he's just dude's just gonna jack up threes. Sub TJ, happy Friday. Just dude's just gonna jack up threes, and that's it. And you know, he'll be like a Devin Booker, who I like, but he'll be like Devin Booker. You know. Scores tons of buckets and not much else. No, but turned out to be a, a well-rounded player, which I think is good for the Hawks. I think the Hawks can be sneaky good. 
They've got a good young core. Mie Oni is a Jazz, by the way. That goes to Daniel. I think they can be, I think Hawks can be sneaky good. They just need a, once they've got their core together, if they can maybe snag like a free agent or two in the next few years. That starts to make things really interesting. Yeah, people always expect someone to fit here. Oh, yeah, if you're a collector, you, you're rooting for everybody. You're rooting for everyone. People are just like, oh, boo Daniel Jones. He's gonna, I'm like, why are you booing Daniel Jones? I want him to be, I want him to do well. It's good for the hobby. Why, why are we down on Kyler Murray? We want him to do well. <laughs> it's gonna be good for, it's good for the hobby. And we got Max Stress. I mean, if you're not a collector, yeah, I guess you can, you can see who's going to be big or not. But why not just root for everybody? Uh, Max Stress is a Celtic. That's going to go to Sean. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Got Chris Wilkes, UCLA. Oh, TJ wants to do hockey too. Don Rab was here wanting to do hockey. I think that was the only person that had mentioned anything about it. Chris Wilkes is a Nick. That will be for Daniel. We got Lugens Dort. Dort. Who's an OKC Thunder? Cavs Thunder. That goes to Joe Kroll. We got Shimori Ponds, college ticket autograph for the Rockets. Rockets, Rockets, Harden and Westbrook back together again. I feel like I feel like I don't, I don't I, that hasn't registered until I see them um, actually on the court together. And nice cracked ice, DeAndre Hunter. 21 out of 23 for that DeAndre Hunter. Who was the number five, fifth overall pick for the Cavs. Nice. Great cracked ice there too. Twenty-one out of twenty-three, fifth overall pick. Saw him in action with Virginia. Wait, no, sorry, DeAndre Hunter. I was looking at Darius Garland. DeAndre Hunter went to the Lakers and then was traded to Atlanta. He's with the Hawks. And that'll be for Joe Kroll, Hawks-Kings combo. 
Although he has the Cavs too, it would have gone to the same place. I think the Lakers would have kept him if he wasn't. Uh, like if Anthony Davis and all that wasn't involved. My Tower's asking, does Carmelo get picked up by a team? He has to, right? There's Devin Booker at 75. And Jalen LeCue. Uh, who is a Phoenix Sun. And yeah, oh yeah, I, I think the Lakers were also interested in Carmelo at one point. I don't know. It, it's, I think a, that a lot of that has to do with who Carmelo thinks he is at this point of his career. You know, because guys like Chauncey Billups have said it. You know, Carmelo Anthony is kind of his one sort of, he's just real talk, you know. One of his downfalls for Carmelo was that that he would be happy if if he had 30 points, and even if the team lost, he'd still be happy. If he didn't have 30 points, but the team won, he'd be unhappy. You know, like so he has to kind of kind of mentally put himself in a different place. And he's got to realize, hey, you're a role player now. You know, yeah, you might be the second guy off the bench now, not the first guy even. But he can still shoot, though, you know what I mean? That's the thing. But now he's got to learn how to be an efficient shooter. If he can do that... Right, yeah, the days of him getting 20 shots a game, that's gone now. There's stress again. Where does stress go? Yeah, stress is a Celtic. That's another one for Sean. And there's Jalen Horde, a Demon Deacon. Jalen Horde is a trailblazer. That's going to go to... I don't know where that goes to. Oh, Nuggets-Blazers combo, Justin Humphrey with that one. Jordan, b -b bad to the b -b bone. B -b -b -bad. Pistons. That will be for the T Wolves Pistons combo for Daniel. There's Shamori Ponds. Kelly feels a Zion coming soon. Would be nice. Wouldn't mind that. Shamori Ponds once again is a Houston Rocket. Uh, 
Uh, Kevin Knox for the Knicks. The Knicks could be pretty interesting. They stockpile a lot of decent players here. And it's not Zion, but his teammate, Jackson Hayes. And that Mojo Refractor, Contender's Optic look. Giving it that Chrome deal. Jackson Hayes looked pretty good in Summer League. He shut Zion down early. And then it became the Jackson Hayes show. That's out of 15. Six out of 15. Nice one for the Pelicans. That's for Danny Connell. And we got Quindary Witherspoon. Not Witherspoon. Weatherspoon. No relation to Witherspoon, I don't think. Not to my knowledge. Quindary Weatherspoon goes to the Spurs. San Antonio Spurs. That'll be for Joseph L. Ren Wirt. That's what. Just keep all the Spurs autographs because knowing Popovich, he'll just turn one of those randos into like a superstar. That's what Popovich says. Alright, next box. Good luck, everybody. After this box, we'll be halfway through this break. And we'll have another 40 minutes to go. And then we'll be ready for... I don't know, whatever else happens. I do see some orders coming in, so it looks like people want to keep something going. Doesn't look like anything sold out at the moment, it, moment, but I do see orders, so they, that money's got to be going somewhere. All right, thanks everybody. Yeah, keep it going, folks. Thank you. All right, next six autographs. I got Robert Franks. Robert Franks went to Washington State. You know who else went to Washington State? Robert Franks is a Charlotte Hornet. And that'll be for Joseph L. Renwert, Hornets, Rock, uh, Hornets uh, Spurs combo. Who else went to Washington State? Quarterback. I think he went to Washington State, right? Gardner Minshew? Minshew says Kelly, yeah. So, there must be something in the water at Washington State, I'm assuming. So I would hold on to, keep just keep Robert Franks in your head, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep Robert Franks in your head. And he may just... He may just blow up at some point. Oh, Joseph L. Wirt. He went to Washington State. There you go. There's Chris Wilkes. Nice. Well, there you go. Is there something in the water, Joe? What up, Pirate? Is there something in the water there? Because Minshew looked great yesterday. Chris Wilkes goes to the Knicks. So I'm thinking that Robert Franks will probably do well. If Minshew's doing well. The water there is bush light. Nice. <laughs> so Shea Brissett. 
Leech is in the water. O'Shea Brissett is a Toronto Raptor. Uh, I just keep an eye out on, on Robert Franks. I feel like something's going to happen there. Chris Paul's a Thunder, too, by the way. We got Sagaba Kanate, a Mountaineer, and he is a Toronto Raptor. And a nice cracked ice game day ticket card, R.J. Barrett, 11 out of 23. That's pretty cool. R.J. Barrett, of course, your third overall pick by the Knicks. That's going to go to Daniel. And Nasir Little is a 13 out of 15 autograph, right on the card as well. Where did Little end up? Nasir Little was a late first round pick, 25th overall by the Trailblazers. Isaiah Roby. What's Zion doing at Panini headquarters? <laughs> Isaiah Roby um, is a Maverick, Dallas Maverick. All right, we are officially halfway. Oh, his autos are there? <laughs> Why would they do that? They're out there. We just don't have the cases. I've seen I've seen all the I've, – I've been on the Twitter. I've been on the social media. Everyone else seems to be pulling Zion autographs out of here, just not us. We got we got the wrong we got the wrong cases. Oh, they're being stingy with them. I don't know. If I'm if if I'm a company, that, I feel like that would not be the right move. Seeing Zion's will keep boxes selling, not withholding Zion's. What would motivate you as group breakers, ladies and gentlemen? What would motivate you to buy buy a product? You know, do you not seeing Kyler Murray's and Zion's, or if you see them? I feel like seeing the big hits inspires more sales rather than the carrot of a big hit. Because then people think, oh, it's real. That could be me. I was watching live when that happened. I was part of that break. I just didn't buy that team.
Four out of 18 ties battle. I know, I expected more from these cases too, John. No, we, we pulled some really nice stuff. A lot of the top draft picks, we, one of ones of those top draft picks, Tyus Battle is a Timberwolf, but that's for Daniel. But we, we just haven't seen that guy. We just haven't seen Zion. We got Goga, 82 out of 99, draft ticket autograph. And that is a Pacer. Pacers Nets combo, Jeremy 33. Just like with Rui Hachimura and, you know, like Luka Doncic last year. International players. Definitely have, uh, are, are something to keep an eye on on the secondary market. They could do pretty well. Remember, a lot of those international guys, especially European guys, they're coming into the United States with a lot more professional basketball seasoning. You know, even though this guy is still pretty young, you know, he already, he already had pro ball experience playing with grown men in European leagues, you know what I mean? So, there's a little value there. There's Daniel Gafford. Daniel Gafford. Going to the Chicago Bulls. Who was saying, or was it Mike Tower? Someone was saying earlier that the Chicago Bulls have built a sneaky good team. I think so. No, it was Gilo. Bulls might be sneaky with Kobe White, Wendell Carter, and Laurie Markinen. I agree. The Bulls being great would be would be hashtag good for the hobby. We need them to be good. We got Tremont Waters. Tremont Waters is a Celtic. And Kelly's saying She's been looking for, what, Romeo Langford, also on the Celtics. That will be for Sean. Save that Zion again. Got Zylon Chetham, who I think is a Pelican too, right? He is. And that'll be another one for Danny, Danny Connell, with that one. So Danny's got a couple Zylons. He's got the nice Jackson Hayes. Maybe we'll find him a Nikhil Alexander Walker and then a Zion. We'll run the table. And there's Daquan Jeffries. Daquan Jeffries and Orlando Magic. We're getting there, folks. Next box. What's going on with the Celtics? I feel like the Celtics had all sorts of plans, Kelly, and other Celtics fans. 
They stockpiled a boatload of draft picks. And they were making a big free agent push. And then it just kind of didn't. The Kyrie experiment got a little weird. They were trying to get pair, you know, move draft picks for for Anthony Davis. Which the Pelicans didn't like. Didn't like the package. Maybe didn't 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 want to move Jason Tatum. I don't know. But they got Kemba. Kemba's interesting. Marcus Smart I like. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, I think could have a big kind of third year. First year, great. Second year, a little off. This year could be where it puts, puts it all together. Enos Cantor is solid. You know, if Gordon Hayward turns out to be kind of puts, you know, injury fears behind him, Gordon Hayward could be scary. Again, you know. And then if, you know, and then there's, you guys, guys got what? Three mid-round, first-round picks. Romeo Langford with the 14th pick. Uh, Matisse at the 20th pick. Grant Williams, 22nd pick. You know, so those are at least solid dudes, if not potential starters. There's Jalen McDaniels. The Celtics just have to do it without, without the big free agent names. Jalen McDaniels is a Charlotte Hornet. And that will be for Joseph L. Ranwert. We got Zach Norvell Jr. Is he a Laker? He is. I think like a second round pick or something like that. The one pick that they still had left over. Could be an interesting player. I'm hoping for big things from Kyle Kuzma. He's the, the chosen one, right, of all the youngsters and all the draft picks, of all the people they could have traded. Kuzma stays. It's a big boost of confidence for him. Luke May is a Milwaukee Buck. Steph Curry. No KD, no Klay Thompson. Him and D'Angelo Russell, they're scoring like 40 points a night, right? Average? 40 points a night? Kai Bowman. I don't know much about Norvell. Kelly's saying Norvell can shoot too, which is what they, yeah, they definitely need shooters. Well, good. Maybe he can, hey, if he can plug in a few minutes here and there. Because the Lakers may, you know, they want to try not to rely too much on their starters. They've got a good team, a very good team, but past the main guys, the team gets thin pretty quickly. So managing minutes is the thing that's going to be a big thing. That's another Warrior autograph going to um, Travis Melberg as the Warriors Clippers combo. And we were just talking about this guy. How do you say his last name? Matisse Tibble for the Celtics. Sean Kirkham with the Celtics-Mavs combo.
Thibel, says Kelly. There's Davidus Servetus. Who is a piston. They've got another international player there too. Seku Dumboya could be interesting for the Pistons as well. Who's got Detroit? Uh, Daniel with a T-Wolves Pistons combo. So they have the former, I'm blanking on his name, my head's not in basketball right now, but they've got the old Raptors coach, right? Now, uh, the Raptors coach, every year that he was there, I want to say the Raptors improved their record each year. So that could be good news for, for the Pistons. Four boxes to go. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. We are getting there. Our last case of contenders draft picks for a little while, boys and girls. But I, I guess as we march closer into the NBA season, you know, and as the final sort of 1819 product starts to come out, then we'll really start diving into 1920, 2019, 2020 basketball product and, you know, keep the Zion hunt going. There's DeAndre Hunter, Cracked Ice, 23, and Tyler Cook. Okay, I can kind of see what he's doing. Is that intentional? To make the T and the C kind of look like an R? If so, I kind of like what he's thinking here, right, for a two-letter autograph. If it's not intentional, then I'm not into it. All right, Tyler Cook is a Denver Nugget. Yeah, cracked ices are real nice. It's a classic sort of pattern there. And that's for the ATL. That goes to Joe Kroll. Talks about a nice break. We got Dylan Windler. Dylan Windler is a Cleveland Cavalier. That's going to go to Joe Kroll. And there's Jordan Poole, 79 out of 99. Draft pick autograph going to the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. Travis Melberg with Golden State. There he is again, Windler. And to 15, college ticket autograph, Jalen Knoll. For the Timberwolves, what's he doing with his auto here? T-Wolves, Daniel, take a look at this. Is he drawing a little crown on top there? That's what it looks like. I like that. Let's see how long that lasts when he starts signing like thousands of cards over the season. Yeah, I like it. All 
I want to. Who's the kid that's gonna that's gonna start signing like drawing a straight up emoji on there and then calling it and like that's my auto. There's Zylan again for the Pelicans. Now we just need to find Zion. Zylon, check, got him. Zion, no, not yet. Decon and I still waiting for the Zion. Got Cameron Johnson to 10. Game day ticket, that's pretty cool. And there's Terrence Davis for the Raptors. I haven't seen this guy's autograph yet either. I think he's in the set. Bull Bull. He is. He's a nugget. We haven't seen him yet. Cameron Johnson is a Phoenix Sun, by the way. That's going to go to Boombox. Three boxes to go. 18 autographs to go. Still a lot of autos left. So if you're getting nervous, don't don't be nervous just yet. I don't think you really need to be nervous until like the last box. Still a lot of autos left. 18 autos left. All right, good luck everybody. Apparently, Roy, yeah, Roy's like, man, it feels like it's a needle in a haystack looking for Zion autos. I guess so. I don't know, but the, with the day this, this came out, though, saw a lot of pictures on social media with Zion. Zion this, Zion that. I think we pulled, like, a, I mean, Nick pulled a nice John Moran. I think I pulled a one-of-one. One, I pulled a one-of-one one R.J. Barrett or a Cam Reddish. But... Man, we just, so we pulled nice, it's not like this product's been bad, it's been great actually. We just haven't pulled that guy though. You know, so, we'll see. Big League, what's going on? Thank you. We got 53 out of 99, Caleb Johnson. Caleb Johnson uh, is none, so he'll be part of that. So the name on top will get uh, the Jonte Porter, and the second name will get the Caleb Johnson. So bonus autographs at the end. Obi-Wan, what's going on? How are you? We've got Chuma Okiki. Chumo Kiki is an Orlando Magic. Do you believe in Magic? Yes. That will be for the Heat Magic combo. And we got KZ Okbala. who is a Miami Heat. And will also go to the Heat Magic Combo. When 
does basketball preseason start, you guys? It's got to be coming up, right? I know hockey preseason just started. Basketball can't be too far away. There's James Harden, 275. Gets his old buddy back. Russell Westbrook. There is Mariel uh, Shyock, 91 out of 99. And that's a 76er. That will be for the Bulls Sixers combo spot. That's for Boombox. Last spot, Mojo. Mid late October. There's Zach Norvell Jr. again for my Lakers. We're going to be in a pretty excellent part of the year, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of sports to be had on any given week. We'll have hockey starting up, playoff baseball, NFL, NBA, NASCAR chase for the cup, English Premier League soccer, which we have on the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com, if you want to get into it. Yeah, one of the best times of the year, says Kelly, absolutely. There's James Palmer. His name is James Palmer. His name is James Palmer. His name is James Palmer. And that's for the Clippers. We've got a lot of your shipments going out right now, too. Oh, we loaded up that post office truck. It's gone. All that stuff is gone. Get out. Get out and into the hands of you guys out there. The truck is full. So... In a few days, for most of you, those shipments are going to be in your hands, in your mailboxes. Right, Kelly? Yeah. Then they're saying, I mean, this year's, it's almost, it's the, we're on the, we're at the 20th, you guys. It's the 20th of September. We're going to blink and it's going to be October. We're gonna blink. It's gonna be Halloween. We're gonna blink. Then all of a sudden, it's 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 Thanksgiving, and then all the holidays in December, and then playoff football, and then really it's like Super Bowl, and then spring training. We got Phil Booth. A wildcat. Grundy saying, go Twins, Vikings, different story. What about Timberwolves? Minnesota Wild. My Raiders are going into Minnesota in a couple days. Oh, and there's Romeo Langford. Kelly was talking about him. Nice on-card auto for the Celtics. Sean. The Celtics-Mavs combo. Wherefore art thou? He's right here. He's right here. He didn't go anywhere. Ooh, and there you go. And you just received received your shipping confirmation. Yeah, they did the little scan just a few minutes ago. En route. Of 
Quindary Weatherspoon. Grundy says Cousins will give or corner, corners a ball or two. I mean, it'd be nice. I don't know if the Raiders are going to win that game. I could see them covering that game, though. Plus nine. Raiders could, I don't, I don't know. Vikings just if Vikings defense that's the key. Their defense has to stand strong. There's Max Struss, and Cousins just has to manage the game. I'm not asking Cousins to throw 40 times a game, right? You don't want Cousins throwing 35, 40 times a game. Max Struss is another Celtic. You know, you rely on Dalvin Cook. You rely on Alexander Madison, right? He's a running back, I think. It's another Celtic for Sean. And uh, then you rely on that defense. Grind out games. Vikings football. Steph Curry. Yeah, I, I love Darren Waller, too. Big fan. There's Jalen Horde. Bill says it's funny you say manage. Yeah, is he not managing it properly? I don't know, he's, you like that, all that. Cousins got swag, right? Come on, Cousins. All right, Jalen Horde goes to Portland. It's a trailblazer. Blazing the trails. From Wake Forest to the forests of Oregon. And there's another Jonte Porter, and that'll be that's out of 99. Nice draft ticket autograph. That will be part of this randomizer here as well. So that'll be for the third person on the randomizer. Bill saying I was on the Kirk Cousins train right away, but always thought Keenum managed the game well enough, and that was enough. Yeah, I. Uh, well. I thought Kirk Cousins was an upgrade. I didn't think Keenum was going to do it again, you know, a couple years in a row, you know what I mean? So I thought Cousins would be an upgrade, but, you know, after a season or now a couple games in, now, you know, my shoulders are kind of doing this. They're like, eh. <laughs> Maybe you guys should have. I mean, that's 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 tough. I mean, quarterback so important in the national. It's, you know, obvious statement, right? It's so important in the National Football League. But uh, Grundy's saying you need a game man with good defense, not an inaccurate gunslinger. I, I thought there'd be. A little. Uh, I thought the Vikings needed a little bit of that gunslinging. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, you're. I mean, but yeah. But then there's the money. The money makes it worse. The cousins' money. At that point, you're like, well, why not stick with the devil we know in Case Keenum, right? Pay him a fraction of that, shorter contract probably, and then you know, and then. Uh, you know, then, you know, you draft, you know, maybe some, get some, like, fourth or fifth round QB in the draft and develop him behind Case Keenum and see what, and then you kind of go from there, I suppose. Could have been the other, other plan. Or, yeah, or get more, or def get more defense, too, yeah. Really shore up that. There's Robert Franks again. Robert Franks, Gardner Minshew could be the biggest names in the hobby coming out of Washington State. I think he's a Hornet. I think that goes to Joseph L. Ranwer. Yes, Charlotte Hornet. I think you, uh, Vikings defense has a couple UCLA linebackers on that team. Out of 99, Clay Thompson. So, and I kind of sort of follow UCLA. So, there's Dewan Hernandez. For 
the Raptors. I know, Roy. I'm trying. So we're running out of running out of cards now. Oh, that's not Zion. Come on, Zion. Where are you? There's Dort. Okay, C. Thunder, that's going to be for Cavs Thunder combo. No, Diedrich Lawson. Come on, I saw a blue. I saw the blue border. Kind of looked like Duke Blue. Diedrich Lawson is a San Antonio Spur. And that's going to go once again. Spurs having a nice break, too. Going to Joseph L. Rand Wirt. How many autographs? We have one, two, three, four. Two more autographs to go. Two more. Whoa. What is that? I don't know who that is, but it's a printing plate. And I think it's autographed. All right, there's Justin James. I don't know if it's that guy, Ray. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't want to overhype it, but I, I do know it's a plate, though. And since this is only our fifth autograph, I'm assuming that's autograph, too. I didn't see the player. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Gilo. It could be the last pick of the draft, too. Justin James is a Sacramento King. All right. Good luck, everybody. The printing plate is Cam Reddish, one of one. The Zion hunt continues, but the Cam Reddish is pretty nice. Damn nice. Atlanta Hawks with that one. Yeah, we got close to Zion. But that's pretty good. Nice Cam Reddish. A lot of people, he's a 10th overall pick. I mean, you'll have some people tell you that they, that if you took the Duke player that you want to take would be Cam Reddish, not Zion. There's some people that would argue that. Atlanta Hawks. That is once again for Joe Kroll, who won that spot in our eight, in an eight by ten break. What a way to end this break! All aboard the Big Hit Express! Woo -woo. Nice. There you go. Now, quick randomizer here. The entire group has a shot at it. Name on top gets that one. Second name gets gets that one. Third name gets that one. So let's go back to the team list right here. Put their names in right here. Let's roll it and randomize it eight times. Top three get auto, a bonus autos after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eighth and final time. After eight times, Daniel, Mark, and Daniel. Daniel with your early bird spot, you get that first Jonte Porter autograph. The second name will get the draft day ticket autograph of uh, Caleb Johnson. And Daniel, you'll get the Jonte Porter again, this time 30 out of 99. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Oh, let's do a quick uh, recap too. So from start to finish, pretty solid break. A lot of Zion game day and school color card. Nice Trey Young. Yeah, the Hawks did kill it, didn't they? That Jackson Hayes was really nice too. Contenders Optic Jackson Hayes for the Pelicans. That RJ Barrett cracked ice was cool. Pretty solid break, I would say. A lot of good names out of here. And thanks to everybody who kind of kept me company in the chat as well. I know this was kind of a long break, but thanks for helping all of us get through this. Appreciate it. And of course, the one of one Cam Reddish at the end. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.